Hello Finders crew, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be testing out five viral TikTok products. Now a few of them I already own and I've used for a while, and a few of them I'm unboxing in this video. So stay tuned, let's check those out and dive right in. So the first product for today is gonna to be the Ninja Creamy. Now you've probably seen this all over because we have before we bought it, it was everywhere all on social media, had to try it out. We've already made probably like four or five different recipes and they've all turned out amazing. I'm gonna share one of them with you today. We've already frozen the ingredients for it and I'll show you exactly how the machine works and how it comes out as well. All right, so we've had this one frozen for 24 hours. I'm gonna show you what's inside and I'll tell you the ingredients also. Inside of this right here is one of those little pints of strawberry Greek yogurt and then I put about one to two tablespoons of like instant cheesecake pudding jello mix sort of thing. Um, I topped that with a little bit of milk to basically cover it to the top and then threw in a handful of blueberries. So no specific measurements or anything. I've made this once before, but I'm gonna make it again and see if it's just as good as the first time. This pint right here just goes into this little plastic container that we got that it comes with. Just sits in there just like this. And then the lid goes right on top of it. And that's kind of the blade that's going to do all of the mixing up of this. Just throw this on, click it shut. And then it's gonna go right inside of the creamy here. Just like this. And it goes upwards into the blade clicks on there and then I just gotta plug it in and we will get it running. All right, hit the power button to turn it on. Oh, and sometimes you gotta unclick it and re-click it back in when you plug it in. There we go and we're on. And I'm going to hit light ice cream. It's gonna make it a bit more blended than the regular ice cream. I don't know the science behind it all too much, but we're just gonna do the light ice cream here and let it go. And it's a little bit loud, so we're gonna come back when it finishes. All right, so it just finished for the first time. Let's take it off. Usually you have to run this about two or three times. It does only take about three minutes or so per spin, but let's take a look at what it looks like after the first spin here. And yeah, pretty much exactly what I was expecting. So you get kind of this crumbly texture the first time you run it. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk in here, put it back in again, and I'll show you the results after the second time too. All right, here are the results after the second time of spinning this. Hopefully we're there now. And I'd say it's looking pretty good, but we want it a little bit better than that. So we're gonna do one more spin with just a little bit more milk, and then I'll show you the final results again. Here we are after the third spin. Let's take a look. And that's exactly what we wanna see in there, that texture right there. There it is, it's just so thick. You can almost put the spoon upside down. You can just a little bit there. Let's give it a taste test though. It's absolutely incredible. You guys gotta try this recipe if you've got a creamy. So next up we have this product called Museum Gel. Basically this can go on the bottom of any vase or anything that you wanna make sure that it doesn't fall over essentially. And it's gonna stick it there completely perfectly. So we have this vase of flowers right here. They're actually Lego flowers if you couldn't tell. And obviously, it's very loose on our TV stand right here. So if someone hit it or if our cat hit it on accident and knocked it over, it would fall over and probably break. So we'll put this museum jaw on the bottom and I'll show you guys how easy it is to use and how much it's actually gonna hold it on there. So this is with it opened up and you can see it's kind of like a clear gel. It's nice and like sticky and uh, spreads apart super easily too. So it's got a ton of uh, pull to it, almost like a cheese pull with this gel here. <laughs> so I took the flowers out of this vase. I'm gonna flip it over and put some museum gel on the bottom of it here. So I'm gonna grab just a little bit at a time and put it in a few different areas and nice little blots here. So let's put like a small amount right there, a little bit more in the center and another piece kind of at the end of it down there. I think that should do the trick with this one. That might be a little much even, but it's okay. It should work for our purpose. So I'm gonna now put this onto our TV stand and push down just a little bit on it. You can kind of feel it sticking on as you push down. And after applying just a little bit of pressure, it should get nice and stuck to our TV stand. So I'm gonna give it a test with a little hit. And yeah, even hitting it right now, nothing's moving. So we'll put the flowers back into this one. If this gets hit by our cat or the TV stand shakes, you can see that's really nice and tight on there. I'm hitting this pretty hard and we're basically getting no movement on it at all. But when you wanna pull this up, it's actually really easy. All you have to do is twist it and then pull upwards. So you'll see, I'll put very little pressure on this. I'm just barely twisting as little as I can right now. Pull up and it comes right off. You can grab all that sticky stuff right off your TV stand. It doesn't ruin it at all. It doesn't ruin the bottom of the vase and you're all good to go. Next up is gonna be this water bottle right here. Now this is basically a dupe water bottle of the Stanley and the Hydro Flask and all those other ones kind of combined into what I think is actually the best water bottle out of all of them. We've honestly tried them all. 
And I'm gonna show you the really cool features about this one right here. So first off, really nice handle and the top will twist so that you can basically use the handle in either your left or your right hand. So it's left hand friendly, right hand friendly. On the top of the water bottle, you got this straw that collapses in. So you can pull this straw upwards and drink right from the straw right there as one of the options. Or if you want to, there's just a drink spout on the other side too. So you can click this open and drink right from the spout there or pour something into the spout, whatever is easiest. The lid itself is really easy to take on and off. You basically just twist it and you get a really nice refill. The straw is obviously attached as you can see, but then some of the really cool features about it also are that it's actually completely leak proof. So you can hear there's water in this. You can hear the water inside of this. You obviously just saw it a second ago too, but even with this completely upside down, it doesn't spill at all. No water comes out of this one. As compared to a Stanley water bottle, the one that's trending all over, the one that's super popular, if you turn this one upside down, it's gonna spill like crazy and not stop spilling until it's completely empty there. So huge difference in that. This one's perfect. I love to throw it in like my backpack when I'm traveling, basically bring it with me anywhere. If I accidentally toss it on the floor, you know, no water is going anywhere with it. It's, it's never gonna leak. And also unlike a hydro flask water bottle, this one has a narrow bottom right here on the bottom. So it actually fits in cup holders in your car and any other cup holder like that. So really to me, this water bottle has all of the features that you'd want in a water bottle. It's, I've been using it for months now. I absolutely love it. It comes in four different colors too. This is just one of the four colors and uh, you'll like it as much as I do, honestly, I promise. So the next product here is gonna be this candle warming lamp. Now, basically if you have a kid or a cat like we do, or you're just scared of someone being around fire in your home or leaving a fire unattended, this is a perfect alternative. It can basically burn your candle without a flame and without anything too hot to you know, have to worry about something lighting on fire. So basically you'll just kind of set this on your nightstand, your TV stand, wherever you want to light your candle, have it plugged in. And then there's a switch on it right here to control the brightness of the actual candle warming lamp. So you'll turn this on and you can see if you just barely turn it on, you get just a little bit of heat here, but if you turn it all the way, it becomes nice and bright and it's not too hot to the point where you can't hold your hand under it, but you can definitely like feel the heat here. It's obviously not burning my hand or I would move it, but it's going to be uh, hot enough to actually burn your candle. So you'll take your candle here and you'll just kind of toss it right in the center of this. That heat's gonna start burning this pretty slowly. Actually the slowness of it, we found to be a good thing because it won't burn your candle as fast as, you know, just lighting the wick on fire. It's gonna burn it slowly, but the aromatics still are fully there with the burning of the candle. So we'll show you this in about five minutes or so. Once this starts to burn a little bit more, you'll see kind of the melting of that uh, with the candle. It's been about maybe five to 10 minutes and this has started to melt. So you can take a look at that and see it's clearly melting just like a regular candle would. It already smells absolutely delicious and there's no risk of fire. And even if I put my hand over it right now, you can see it's not burning my hand at all, but it is burning the candle slowly over time. And our final product is gonna be this human dog bed right here. Now I've seen this all over social media, all over TikTok. I haven't tried it out myself yet. Got the box right here. We're gonna open it up, check what comes inside of it and see how comfortable it actually is. So the first step to set up here is gonna to be to take the case apparently and flip it over and there are zippers on the inside here. Let's see if I can find those zippers that we gotta undo. We got this opened up and I'm gonna to toss it onto the ground now. All right, and now there's even more zippers, one more set of zippers on this side that I need to open up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I think I just need to stuff these guys in. They're huge, so let's see if we can get these in without it being too much effort. Definitely not the easiest thing in the world, but you only have to do it once at least. So that's that side. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here now. These things are so large, they're almost difficult to work with. Let's get this all lined up now. I think you want the same amount of stuffing on both sides. So I'm gonna just put that out and let's see pull it a little bit more this way probably. All right, now I'm gonna tuck these back into the inside, kind of loops through into the middle here. So let's get the first one tucked in and get the second one tucked into here. And then I'm gonna get this side zipped up. I just finished zipping one end here. I'm gonna flip it over and now zip in the other end, which apparently is a little bit trickier. So 
Let's get this flipped over and we're gonna do the same stuffing and get this in there also. All right, I've got the final side of that in. We got the border of this and next up is the foam pad, which I have to kick my cat off of to get this in there. Got the foam piece in here. Now I just need to zip up this end. Only a couple more zippers until we are finally done. Okay, I am definitely exhausted, but I think our bed is finally done. I'm gonna shake it up to disperse the foam a bit, get it flipped over, and oh my God, I cannot wait to lay in this thing. There we go. And now for the big reveal, time to lay in this and see if it's actually worth all the effort. Oh man, it is absolutely huge in here and it's so comfortable. It's the softest material. I am definitely gonna be taking a nap in this one. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I was glad to show you guys four products I already owned and this dog bed, which is gonna be a new favorite of mine. If you enjoyed any of them and want them, all of the links to the products are in the descriptions down below and I will catch you guys on the next video.